Hey cuties, I'm Lanikia and you are watching What Happened on the Soaps. This is the Bold and the Beautiful Edition. All right, today is Monday, July 31st, 2023. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. I know I did. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to actually give this one... Um, I'm going to give it a six. Let's get into it. So we see Brooke and Ridge. Brooke and Ridge are in the office. I love that dress. I like the gold on it. It was really simple, but it looked really pretty on the um on the model that was wearing it on the young lady. So I liked it. I I I um I I want I like when they show the fashions. I wish they would have another fashion show. Maybe not so much hope for the future, but like have another fashion show where we actually get to see like quite a bit of fashions and everything. I don't know how, um, because they, we always see these different gowns. So instead of just showing them on that, maybe they can just do show them all in a fashion show. I don't know. Y'all tell me what you think. Anyways, let's move it on, <laughs> moving right along. Um, he and Brooke reminisce about, you know, the keyhole and him seeing her. And, um, cause you know, he's, when he saw her, he got his spark back now. He can, he can design again and everything. And so I said, okay, child, we, we still on this. <laughs> Let's move on. And so then Carter comes in and he tells them about Sheila, you know, Kelly has, uh, Kelly, um, What's this ma'am name? Katie. Katie has written a statement for the press and she said, stick to it. Don't um, go off script or anything, but she's, you know, to tell the press everything is fine, you know, and all that because they know Sheila is a terror. And so they, they've written this press statement and all that. And then Carter is just like, I said, I know y'all not blaming Bill for Sheila being free. Cause yes, he did did blackmail uh steffi and finn and all that he did um blackmail them but i'm sorry there is too much to think that you had the fbi involved and all these different things involved and the plan you know it was all illegally done the you're telling me that they illegally got the um confession from sheila with the fbi involved they they didn't know the procedure on how to do it legal like stop it i'm sorry i just i can't i can't but it's a soap so we're gonna believe what they i'm gonna believe what you tell me to believe so um and i but i'm just like so y'all are upset of bill but bill was the hero y'all know he didn't know that it, like be mad at ridge too he was in on it why didn't he make sure they were doing everything legally but anyways, they Carter tells them we got um, restraining order. They said that ain't gonna stop Sheila. Um, and Ridge said he gonna protect and defend his family. Anyways, Carter ends up leaving, and uh, Sheila and Sheila Brooke and Ridge talk. They do talk a little bit about Thomas and how he's gonna talk to hum Thomas about um what's going on with Hope and everything. So I don't know, child. They still kissing up on each other, loving up on each other. Let's move on. So then we go over here to Liam and um. Liam and Steffi. And somebody said in the comments, they gave Liam the same script. They just changed the name from Thomas to Finn. <laughs> yes! <laughs> He's getting on my nerves. Oh my gosh, go home. But he says, um, he, he's actually there waiting on Finn to bring Kelly back so that they he can take her on a father-daughter date. I said, I still say what I said that Liam had worked all these shifts. He was already on call. So why was he taking Kelly to the beach anyways? Why did he take her to the beach anyways? Just to have the storyline, but I'm going to flow with it. So Liam is still telling um, Steffi, you know, you got to confront Sheila. I don't trust Finn. I don't care. He, he was in the arms of his psychotic mother and yada, yada, yada. And I'm like, Ugh. and then he tells her, tells um, Steffi, it's not because of, you know, what I feel. It, it has nothing to do with him wanting to be with her. It's just, he can't believe what Finn is doing. And she said, yeah, I know. I said, I don't know that Steffi. And I don't think you should either. But he's just like, I can't trust him. Um, and he's now he's with Kelly. And I said, well, why don't you go to the beach and go get your daughter? Like, uh, come on, like, just go get her or whatever. Just do what you have to do. And anyways, um, he just keeps going on and on and on about it. And that's the annoying part about Liam. He doesn't know how to say his piece 
and let it go. Like they make him just keep going on and it's over and over until I don't, you know, you don't even want to watch it anymore because it's the same thing. Just like me. I'm just repeating what I just said. Let's move on. So then we see, um, little mama, hold on. So then we see Finn, you know, Kelly, Finn, they show Finn telling Kelly, stay, he got, he gets a phone call and he tells her, stay right there. Cause they already had had, they just had a conversation about how the ocean is dangerous. And then he, he says, I got to take this call, Kelly, stay right here. Now they didn't show us that part Friday, but they showed us this part. And plus Kelly is old enough where if he say, sit your, mm, sit yourself down, sit yourself down. Um, but anyway, so she go down to the beach. I don't know what she was trying to do, but she goes down to the beach and Sheila sees this and she trying to be like, Kelly, please come back. But Kelly doesn't come back and she ends up almost drowning. Sheila run out there, clothes all on and everything. And she's yelling, Kelly, Kelly, Kelly. But Finn doesn't hear it because he put his ear, um, his ear pods in iPods in and so he all on the phone talking about I see you and all this I said you should they should have been talking to the doctor that's on the floor but anyways he all on the phone with his back turn hold on y'all Mila is He's all on the phone with his back turned to her. So he doesn't see any of this going on. And so Sheila gets out there and Kelly's screaming, help. She trying. And I said, what? Ain't nobody else on this bitch can help. <laughs> but nobody else was there to help her. And so Sheila actually uh, rescues Kelly and Finn sees it at the end. And he runs out there. And I said, because uh, baby, I've been in the water with a t-shirt on that mess is heavy so i know that was heavy on sheila and everything but anyways child um they actually do and she she re rescues her and um kelly said he you know finn of course he's shaking up and he's like oh my gosh i'm sorry i didn't hear you i didn't know um i just took my eyes you know off her for a little bit and i'm sorry and she was like it's okay she saved me and then he was like, um, thank you, mom. Is that what he said? Because I wrote that part down, child. And y'all know I don't write too much down. But he said, yes, he said, thank you, mom. I said, uh-oh. <laughs> he went and called him mama. It's over. It's over, Stiffy. You're going to have to get on board or not. Because you know Finn is hard-headed. When he want to do something, he is hard-headed. Because remember when Steffi, Ridge, and and uh taylor wanted to go at lee and finn shut that down he said what you're not gonna do is come at my mama because she shot she saved me even eric shut it down he because lee was like i know people are upset with me and eric said listen finn is alive because of you so if you welcome in my home and everybody gonna just have to get on board with it so i don't know what's gonna happen here because you know steffi is strong-willed finn is strong-willed they're going to butt heads about this because Steffi not going to understand why you want a relationship with Sheila. But anyways, Kelly says, that's your mom? And he said, yes. And, and he was like, what do you do? What were you doing here? And Sheila said, I just want to see you. I like, I miss you and all that. So I said, oh, child. <laughs> this is how Liam going to slip in. I'm so sick of um, bold and the beautiful the love triangles breaking happy couples up this was the one couple that i i just knew they were not gonna break up you know what i mean it was just like it was too much happiness with them too they they had a perfect little life going on when you know not perfect but they had a cute little life going on and here y'all go messing it up because you want to put liam with steffi again we don't want to see this we don't want to see that i don't want to see liam with steffi but I am here for um for Finn being a little bit of Sheila on Liam. I'm here for that, but we'll see y'all. Anyways, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you tomorrow uh, for an all-new episode of What Happened on the Soaps. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.